Aleluia. Aleluia. Shout a big Aleluia. Are you excited to see the very last day of the month of November? God has spared you from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. And he's preparing you for the last month, which is December. Is it not enough to give God praise? Many that you started this year together, they are no more. Many that you even started this month together, they are no more. But God has kept you. God has preserved you. God has shown mercies unto you. You are here in the house of the Lord on your two feet. Many are in the mortuary. Many are in the hospital. They don't know their faith. But the Lord has shown you mercy. The Lord has shown you mercy. The Lord has shown you mercy to be alive. The Bible says, for he that is joined with the living, there is hope. So that is why I know there is hope for you. I said there is hope for you. I said there is hope for you. In the name of Jesus. Today is the covenant day of thanksgiving. Are you ready to thank God today? I, I, I want you to forget about all your sorrows. I want you to forget about that situation you are passing through. Just forget it as you are here in the service. And have that attitude to give thanks unto the Lord. Because that's the only thing God requires from you. Enough of your petition. Enough of your request. Enough of your prayers. It is time to thank the Lord. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. If you know, I will say you are grateful to Lord. I want you to Lord sing that song from the depth of your heart. I will to take him. for he has made me glad. I will enter. I will Like our father always say, I know why you are not dancing, why you are not singing. Because it's month end now. You are thinking of rent. You are thinking of your rent. But don't worry. Inside Thanksgiving, there is miracle. Inside, inside Thanksgiving, there is signs and wonders. I want you to loosen up yourself this morning. I'm not going to preach too much this morning. Because I want us to celebrate, Lord. Technical, can you give me more volume? I want us to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Forget about who is not here in the service. You are here to meet with God alone. Amen. 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 So, I want you to prepare yourself to dance before the Lord. To celebrate the Lord today. Amen. Because the Lord will do a great thing in your life this morning in the name of Jesus. The Lord will turn around that situation that is confronting you, that situation that is militating against you. As you thank the Lord, as you celebrate Him, the Lord will turn. The
the situation around in the name of Jesus. Woo! I want you to be excited because as you thank the Lord today, the host of heaven will be attending to your case. The host of heaven will be attending to your case in the name of Jesus. Worship team, I want you to be with me this morning. Amen. Amen. We are ministering together. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. And have your seat. Have your seat. I bring greetings. Greetings from our Father in the Lord, Pastor Tao, the senior pastor of this ministry, and our mother in the Lord and all other pastors. As we can see, they are not here in our midst, but they are out for an assignment in Velcom. Amen. They are ministering in Velcom. And I spoke to our Father in the Lord this morning, and he said, this service shall be a glorious service for you in the name of Jesus. Quickly, Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Today is the covenant day of thanksgiving. And I'll be focusing on the wonders of thanksgiving. The wonders of thanksgiving. Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. The Bible says, Woo is like unto thee, O Lord. Among the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee, you are glorious in holiness. And he is fearful in praises, doing wonders. That means there are other gods competing for your thanksgiving. If the Bible says, who is like unto thee among the gods, that means there are other gods who are expecting your thanksgiving. But this God... The Bible says he is glorious in holiness and fearful in praises, doing wonders. That means as you begin to praise the Lord, the Lord is coming down with wonders, with wonders, with miracles, with signs, with your blessing, with your breakthrough, with your healing. In the name of Jesus. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? You are glorious in holiness and fearful during praises. What is thanksgiving? What is thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is a covenant mystery which unsettles the enemy in order to settle you. Thanksgiving is a covenant mystery which unsettles the enemy in order to settle you. Every area of your life that you have been unsettled, the Lord will settle you today. The Lord will settle you today. The Lord will settle you today. In the name of Jesus. So thanksgiving is not a ritual, but a mystery in the kingdom of God. But to those outside the kingdom, it is a parable and is not understood. So there is no faster way that you can propel your destination than through thanksgiving. If you want to arrive your destination on time, then give thanks unto the Lord. And you should always raise an altar of thanksgiving unto God. And on that altar of thanksgiving, you sacrifice praise. When you raise an altar of thanksgiving unto God, you sacrifice praise 
on that altar and as that praise is the fruit of your lips. The praise that you sacrifice on the altar of thanksgiving is the fruit of your lips. The book of Hebrews. Hebrews 13 verse 15. Hebrews 13 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. When you don't give thanks, that means you are complaining and you are murmuring, which is an act of ungratefulness and is one great enemy of thanksgiving. Complaining and murmuring. You've forgotten everything the Lord has done for you. You begin to complain. You can't even see those things that you have received from the Lord. But the enemy will always compel you to complain and to murmur. And this is a great enemy of thanksgiving. So quickly, what are the wonders embedded in thanksgiving? The wonders embedded in thanksgiving. Number one, supernatural multiplication. Say to your neighbor, supernatural multiplication. Supernatural multiplication. John chapter 6, verse 11. John 6, verse 11. The Bible says, And Jesus took the loaves. John chapter 6, verse 11. And Jesus took the loaves. And when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples. And the disciples to them that were set down. And likewise of the fishes as much as they would. Jesus took the loaves. And he lifted up his eyes to heaven and he gave thanks. This is a common story that we all know in the Bible. We are so familiar with it. But when you look at that mystery, two fishes and five loaves of bread to feed 5,000 people, how did it happen that when Jesus took that loaves, and gave to the disciples and the disciples to everyone that needed it what happened in between then how did that love multiply how did it multiply i still wonder till today how did it happen huh. supernatural multiplication via thanksgiving as you thank the Lord today, everything that has been diminishing in your life will begin to multiply. Whatever has been diminishing in your life, in your finances, in your marriage, in your career, they will begin to multiply. Supernatural multiplication. It is unexplainable, yet undeniable. Jesus gave thanks and the food began to multiply. Ha! Le Kadosh Bahuda Kehidaba. The power of thanksgiving. Supernatural multiplication. What are the wonders embedded in thanksgiving? The wonder of resurrection. Number two, the wonder of resurrection and revival. The wonder of resurrection. John chapter 11. John 11 from verse 41. John 11. Verse 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast had me that is 
this situation is settled already. Father, I thank thee that thou hast had me. Verse 43. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth. And he that was dead came forth. The wonders of thanksgiving brought the dead back to life. That is why I know this morning that whatever is dead in your life, whatever is dying in your hands, this morning via the wonders of thanksgiving, they shall jack back to life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Whatever is dying in your body, whatever is dying in your system, as you praise the Lord this morning, as you worship the Lord this morning, as you praise the King of Kings this morning, everything dying in your system, they will receive life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hey, the wonders of thanksgiving. People of God, thanksgiving is so powerful. It's very powerful. You cannot but do without thanksgiving. The wonders of thanksgiving. It brought the dead back to life. Number three, divine intervention. Divine intervention. <laughs> divine intervention. First Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 20 to 22. First Chronicles 20, 20 to 22. You see, these are scriptures that we are very familiar with. But when the Holy Spirit opened our eyes to see that mystery in that operation of thanksgiving, then you will always thank God. You will always praise Him. You will always celebrate Him. First Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 20 to 22. Verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Verse 21. And when he had consulted with the people, that was Jehoshaphat, he appointed singers unto the Lord. And that, and that should praise the beauty of his holiness. As they went out before the army, and to say, praise the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. For his mercies endureth forever. Amen. For his mercies endureth forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest amen for his mercies for his mercies and your red forever amen for his mercies and your red forever amen they were singing the singers, they were in front. They were confronted with Hamas, with battle. Has anyone been in a battlefront before? Have you witnessed a battle before? But you have seen it on TV. You know how it is. Imagine people coming here now with guns, 
with axes, cutlass, and they are ready to fight us. And we say, worship team. Oh yeah, go. Be in front. Be singing. Be praising God. I know Sister Sandra will say, ah, ah, let me be behind. They appointed singers. Hey, the mystery of Thanksgiving. They were praising God. They were dancing. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercies, for his mercies, and your red forever. Amen. For his mercies, and your red forever. Amen. They were dancing, they were praising God. And what did the Bible say? God looked down and said, What kind of people are these? They are confronted with war, yet they are praising me. I have no choice but to intervene. I have no choice but to step in. I have no choice but to come down. That is why I know as you praise the Lord this morning, the Lord will come down to intervene in your situation. He will intervene in your matter. He will intervene in your career. He will intervene in your family. He will intervene in your finances. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God, as a thanksgiver, you can never be mocked. The enemy can never mock you. As a praiseful person, the enemy can never stand before you. Because you have the backup of the King of Kings. You have the backup of the Lord of Lords. You have the backup of the King of Glory. It will come down to intervene in that matter they were singing what happened the lord set an ambushment to ambush their enemies they were still in the front they were saying these israelites we will deal with them today we will take them as slaves but god that had the master plan he set an ambushment against them he set an ambushment against them every enemy of your life that has been afflicting you the lord will set ambushment against them in the name of jesus the wonders of thanksgiving number four total health and wholeness total health and wholeness when you thank the Lord. The Lord will give you total health. Luke chapter 17. Luke chapter 17 from verse 12 to 19. But because of time, I won't read all the scriptures. We know the stories of the ten lepers. They came to Jesus. The master, we are here, we are lepers. We cannot enter the city. And Jesus looked unto them and said, go and show thyself to the priest. Just go. Go. I don't need to pray for you. I don't need to lay hands on you. Just go and show yourselves to the priest. And they started going. They started going. They started walking. And as they were going on their way, one of them said, ah, what is happening to me? Brother John, I think I am healed. The other one, Sister Mary, I think I am healed. All of them checked themselves. And they said, alas, we are healed before we even go to the priest. <laughs> and one of them said, no, I have to return to the master to give him thanks. I have to return to Jesus to give him thanks. And he turned back and fell on the feet of Jesus and began to worship him. Say, Father, I thank you. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful. And I say, thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus looked at him and said, ah, Brother John, were there not ten lepers that were cleansed? Where are the remaining nine? Jesus was shocked. He was what? He was shocked because of the ungratefulness. And he said, Go thy way. Thy faith has made you whole. Thy faith has made you whole. He received complete and total health. He can never be a leper again in his life. Not only him and his generation, but the other nine, they still stood the chance of becoming a leper again. Or their children. He received complete wholeness because of thanksgiving. Because of thanksgiving. Whatever is troubling your health, whatever is militating against your health, whatever sickness, whatever disease in your body, in your bones, in your blood that is afflicting you today via the wonders of thanksgiving, receive your healing 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 take it 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 in the name of jesus perfection total health and wholeness number five quickly there is covenant restoration. Say covenant restoration. Covenant restoration. One of the wonders in thanksgiving is restoration. Job lost everything. He did what? He lost everything. We can find that in the book of Job. Okay, because of time, I don't want us to read it. Job he lost everything. He lost his children. He lost all his materials. He lost all his properties. We all know the story. But he never denied God. He kept on thanking God. Even his wife said, Job, have you not suffered enough? Why not curse this God and die? But he said, I know my Redeemer liveth. He kept on thanking God. He kept on praising him. And God suddenly restored him. He restored him. That is why I know for someone seated here today and everyone at the sound of my voice, whether they are watching me on the internet, I say fire today's service of thanksgiving as you celebrate the Lord, as you begin to thank him, receive divine restoration. Receive your restoration. Receive your restoration. Receive your restoration in the name of Jesus. What makes thanksgiving powerful? Lastly, number six, covenant fruitfulness. Covenant fruitfulness. One of the wonders embedded in thanksgiving. Anna did not have any child. She was barren. The second wife began to mock her. If she began to mock her with her own children. She was weeping, a woman of sorrow, crying every day. They began to go to Shiloh every year. And one day, she knelt before the Lord and cried her heart out. And the man of God, the prophet, prophet Eli, said, Go thy way, your petition is answered. And since that day, she began to rejoice. She began to celebrate. Did you ever hear that Anna prayed again? No, she engaged the mystery of thanksgiving. She began to thank God for her baby. And the Lord visited her with fruitfulness. The Lord visited her with fruitfulness. Everyone called barren. You see, barrenness is not only the fruit of the womb. There can be barrenness of the pocket. Barrenness of career. Every area of your life. You have been experiencing barrenness. Receive your fruitfulness. 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 In the name of Jesus. 
the wonders of thanksgiving. The wonders of thanksgiving. So now, how can I thank God? Okay, you have said that I should be thankful to, but how? Let me tell you, you can t- only thank him in faith, by faith, and with faith. You can only thank God in faith, by faith, and with faith. You see, there are three levels of thanksgiving. Thanking God for what he has done. Thanking him for what he is doing. And to thank him for what he will do. But the other part is the area where we need to thank God for what we have not seen. It is very difficult to thank God for what you have not received. But by faith, by faith, by faith, you can thank him in advance for what you have not received. When you thank God in advance, you have compelled him, you have challenged his ability, and he will never, he will never want to disgrace you because his ability has been challenged. You have called his ability into question that God, okay, I have thanked you for what you have not done, and the Lord will rise up. He rises up to do the unseen because you have challenged his ability. That is the quickest way to receive anything from the Lord. Thanking God for what you have not seen. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So when you thank him in faith, the Lord rises up. He can never, he can never contradict his word. He can never contradict his word. So thanking him in faith, by faith, and with faith. Amen. So faith converts the word of the Lord into power, which turns into testimony. Amen. So thanksgiving and faith goes hand in hand. Your faith to thank God, especially for what he will do, lies in what you already saw him doing or what you have seen him doing in your life or in the life of others. Amen. So when you thank God genuinely for what he is here to do, it moves God swiftly into action. Hear this? Thanksgiving that works wonders emerges from your heart and not from your mouth, not from your lips. It comes from your heart. The thanksgiving that works wonders. Not just, ah, oh Lord, I thank you, I thank you. You are still thinking of things you left in the house. What am I going to eat today? No! When you begin to thank God from your heart, that is what qualifies you for the wonders. So, when we forget God's benefits, it forgets our needs. When you forget God's benefits, it forgets your needs. And hear this, to be thoughtful is to be thankful. To be thoughtful is to be thankful. And when you become praiseful, God will guard you with all jealousy. Amen. We all know that prayer is the master key. Prayer is the master key. Prayer unlocks every closed doors. But thanksgiving breaks every closed doors. Prayer unlocks the doors. But praise breaks the doors. It breaks every barriers. Praise does not wait for the key. It does not wait for what? The key. It breaks loose every barrier. That is why I know every mountain standing before you this morning, as you praise the Lord, those barriers shall be broken. In the name of Jesus, whatever barrier is confronting you, whatever challenge, whatever mountain that is standing before you, as you praise the Lord, that mountain shall be leveled. That mountain shall be leveled. That mountain shall be leveled. In the name of Jesus. Prayer is very hard, 
but praise is very cheap it gives you your victory cheaply now before i conclude i just want to show you what is the force behind thanksgiving what drives you what motivates you to give thanks what is that force say joy say joy joy is the spiritual force that triggers thanksgiving and praise simple when your joy is taken away you will never be able to thank god no matter how much the the pastor preaches when there is no joy you can never be able to thank god joy is different from happiness joy is eternal it's like a river that flows from the inside of you whether the situation is good or bad that joy keeps propelling you to praise god it keeps propelling you to give thanks to god but the absence of joy means absence of hope when there is no joy in your life you cannot thank god from the depth of your heart a lot of us have lost our joy a lot of us have lost our joy the enemy has stolen your joy but that joy will be restored today that joy will be restored today your joy will be restored today in the name of jesus joy is that antidote that propels thanksgiving is the motivator it's what motivates you that's why you see some people when it's time to praise god like like one of our pastors always say they stand like standard bank they'll be watching they'll be looking at everybody and you see some people they'll be dancing rejoicing what is the difference joy absence of joy that is it absence of joy we know the story of joseph joseph was sold as a slave boy into egypt when he got to the house of potiphar he said me the son of the richest man where i'm coming from now a slave in egypt but he began to dance in the house of potiphar he began to praise god he began to celebrate and god said because you have praised me i will increase you i will prosper you and the Lord prospered him in the house of Potiphar. Go and read your Bible. The Lord prospered Joseph. He did not look at his situation that even Potiphar said, Joseph, you know what? I don't want to know how many houses I have. I don't want to know how many cars I have. I don't want to know how many, you know, cash is in my bank. Just be in charge. Take everything. Take it, take it, take it. Just the only thing, just leave my wife for me leave my wife i will be in charge of my wife but be in charge of every other thing because of praise joseph was a praiseful person he was a person that is full of thanksgiving he became the ruler in the house of potiphar a slave boy but the enemy came through potiphar's wife and he was thrown into prison but in the prison he began to dance again i didn't know you will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. Honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. He began to dance in the prison. Even the chief warder said, uh -uh, let's make you the head of all the prisoners. But one day, say one day. One day. One day. One day one day the king dreamt and none of his magicians could be able to interpret that dream ah! it was only joseph because the spirit of thanksgiving was in him and the queen the king sent for him urgently that come we are waiting for you i know you're a prisoner i know you're a slave but it is you we need you are the one that we need from today as you step forth the world will begin to look for you. The world will begin to look for you. 
the world will begin to look for you for solution, for solution, for solution in the name of Jesus. And he became the prime minister. Thanksgiving took the slave boy from the pits, from the pits to his peak. You are going out of your pits today. That level that you have, you are going out of it today. You are going out of the pits today. You are going to your peak. Say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. Shout, yeah. Woo! Daniel was thrown into the lion's den because he was a man of praise and prayer. And in the lion's den, in the night, he rose up and he began to dance. I have a very big God. Oh. He's always by my side. Hey. A very big God. Oh. By my side. By my side. Wait. Wait. Daniel began to dance. The king lion woke up and said, Who is this one disturbing our sleep? Ah, he's praising God. Let's join him. Oh. The king lion, father lion, went after Daniel. Hey, he was. <laughs> The queen lion, mother lion, two woke up and said, ah, these people are having fun. Let me join them. All the baby lions, they said, ah, we cannot but praise God. They joined them. They joined them in the day. They joined them. They were celebrating God. They were praising him. 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 And in the morning, the king could not sleep. He didn't sleep. He, did, he lost his sleep. He ran to the den and said, Oh Daniel, king of the most high, has the Lord been able to deliver you? He said, Oh, oh king, why have you disturbed my sleep? We were praising God last night, but uh, we are fine. And the king said, Unbelievable. Say unbelievable. Someone will say to you this way, that this is unbelievable. What God will do in your life, they will say to you, this is unbelievable. 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 Oh, I feel God's presence in this place. I feel the presence of God in this place. The three Hebrews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were thrown into the fire because they refused to bow down to the image and immediately they entered the fire they bowed down and they sang consume in fire sweet perfume his awesome presence fills this place for to worship the fourth man hey yeah the fourth man came into their midst ah! the holy ghost appeared in their situation the holy ghost appeared in their situation and the fire became water they were worshiping god in the fire they were praising God. And King Nebuchadnezzar said, Lo, is it not three men that we put in the fire? But I can see four men. Who is this fourth person? Who is this fourth person? His likeness is like the Son of the Most High. When you worship the Lord, when you praise him, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost visits you today as you begin to worship God. The Holy Ghost will visit you. He will visit you. He will visit you. I can begin to name and mention. You are recovering your joy today. 
lift up your hands to heaven and begin to say Lord restore my joy 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 hear this hear this I don't want you to sit down because we are entering into a season of thanksgiving and praise deeper in the book of Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1 to 3 I am not reading it what God will do in your life today he will give you the oil of joy and the garment of praise for your morning the oil of joy is coming upon you afresh this morning the garment of praise is coming upon you this morning the oil of joy the oil of joy is coming afresh upon you this morning lift up your two hands to heaven say i receive it i receive it the oil of joy i receive it i receive it i receive it now lift up your voice and begin to thank him just begin to thank him rise up on your feet and just begin to thank him begin to thank him begin to thank him begin to celebrate him lord you are so good we celebrate you we adore you we worship you we bow before you there is none like you there is none to be compared with you lord of lords mighty warrior the great i am we give you praise 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 celebrating 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 i release upon you afresh the oil of joy in place of money as you enter into this session of praise and worship every enemy standing before you they will crumble for your sake I said they will go down for you in the name of Jesus Jehoshaphat set he appointed singers and set them before the battle and as they began to praise the Lord ambushed their enemy as we celebrate the Lord today the Lord will begin to ambush all your enemies the Lord will begin to ambush all your enemies that thing you have lost as you praise the Lord it shall come back to you speedily it shall come back to you speedily in the name of Jesus let us celebrate the Lord let us praise him as our worship team ushers us into the presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords over to you hallelujah hallelujah David said I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the Lord amen Thank you, man of God, for that powerful word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I didn't know you will learn on me this way. I didn't know you will learn on me this way. Jesus, I didn't know you would honor me this way, Lord. I didn't know you would honor me this way. I didn't know you would honor me this way. Honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know you would honor me this way. I didn't know you were long on me this way, oh Lord. I didn't know honor me this way, Lord. Honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know. I didn't know you were long on me this way. I didn't know. I didn't know you were long on me this way. 
this way. Honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know. I didn't know. You will honor me this way. I didn't know. to dance are you ready to dance thank you Jesus shall we go hallelujah hallelujah the fourth man is about to appear for you amen the fourth man is about to appear for you in the name of Jesus amen Jesus wakanaka 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 hey Jesus wakanaka Wakanaka, Wakanaka, oh, hey, 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 Wakanaka, Wakanaka, yeah, 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 Jesus wakanaka, wakanaka, wakanaka. Give the Lord a dance, eh? Hallelujah. Hey. Rita Dula, Rila Pela. Mona, 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 Richard, you love, 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 Rich
Oh so God, there is absolutely none like you, oh God. Among the gods, there's none like you. We have searched everywhere. We've searched the west, we've searched the north, we've searched the south, we've searched to the, the, the there is no one like you, oh God. You are God and God alone. And no one will compete with us, oh God, for your praise. Because we give it all to you. We choose to give it 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 to you. Some gods have ears, but they cannot hear. They have mouths that they cannot see. They have legs, but they cannot walk. But our God, He appears as the fourth man in the time of the fire for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh my God, you are the God to be worshipped. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Here will be Messiah, Rafi me, Zimana, Zimeme, Zakue, Ziti, Uyinwe, Lenwele, Jehovah, Tikowe, Me. 
cherubim에 cherubim에 세라빔 시마나 시마나 시메메 자 시치 우인 괴레 시치 우인 괴레 Jehovah, Jehovah, take away my soul. To shower you with the oil of joy. No more are you going to be sad. You're going to have joy in the morning to praise Him. In the afternoon to praise Him. Hallelujah. Show worthy of glory. Oh my God. Show worthy of glory. Glory, oh God, if I never knew to more, to more me, oh, he can't my God, go see your worthy, your worthy. You're Give him praise. 
Worship him, worship him, worship him. Oh, Rados ma yeke li prakaya zeke repakataya lipa yeke zopa rakataya le krode shete rima rebo sekelia rekaya ya ya barekatele romaka yeke ye rebo rekaba ba 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 le prode bosh rapakataya. Oh, we celebrate you, Jesus. You know what the Lord told me? He said, I shall anoint everyone in this service for the oil of joy. For the oil of joy. Whatever devil has taken your joy shall be consumed by fire this morning. Whether joy over your children, whether joy over your marital destiny, whether joy over your finances, whatever area of your life that joy has been taken away, it shall be restored this morning. Please, can we come forward quickly? 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 Can we come for protocol, please? Ye can bread a bush, shut up, Repado shut up, Raymond is a kebush. This is the oil of joy, the oil of joy, the oil of gladness in place for heavenly every morning. Any area of your life that you are experiencing sorrow, that you are experiencing mourning, that you are experiencing failure. As this oil comes upon you this morning, there shall be a turnaround. There shall be a turnaround. There shall be a turnaround. In the name of Jesus, that business that is crawling, as this oil comes upon you, it shall receive divine speed. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up your hands to heaven. Receive the oil of gladness right now, right now, right now. Every anti joy spirit, get out of this life. Receive it afresh. Receive it afresh. Receive it afresh. The oil of judgment. The oil of gladness. The oil of gladness. Get out! Get out! Out, you anti joy spirit! Get out! Get out! Save it afresh! Go and prosper! Save it afresh! The oil of gladness! Oil of gladness! Oil of gladness for your breakthrough! Right now! In the name of Jesus! Receive it! 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 Receive it. Whatever is limiting you, receive fire right now. In the name of Jesus. The oil of gladness. 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 In the name of Jesus. The oil of gladness. Every anti joy spirit working against this one. Get out now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out now. Get out now. Oil of gladness. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The oil of gladness. This ants will prosper. In the name of Jesus. The oil of gladness. The oil of gladness. Take it. Take it. Take it. The oil of gladness. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. The oil of gladness. 
prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Anointing for greatness. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Consuming fire. Oil of gladness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. The oil of gladness. Take it. Take it. Take it. Every anti joy spirit. Get out of this world right now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This one. You anti joy spirit. Get out. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. All of gladness. All of gladness. For your total recovery. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. The whole of gladness. Your business will prosper. Take it. Take it. Everything. Cousin and joy. It's a joy spirit. Get out. Right now. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out. Get out. Of this one. In the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. All of joy. All of joy. All of joy. All of gladness. Lord, you're awesome. You're all. Every area that the enemy has taken your joy. Receive restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. Take it. All of gladness. All of gladness. Take it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. The oil of gladness. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. In the name of Jesus. You anti joy spirit. Get out of this one. Right now. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. The oil of joy. The oil of joy for increase. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oil of joy for your increase. In the mighty name of Jesus. All of joy. Take it. Take it. Every anti joy spirit. Get out. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Oil of joy. For increase. For multiplication. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it. All of joy. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Oil of joy. Oil of gladness. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. For your breakthrough. Take it. Take it. Take it right now. In the name of Jesus. Take it right now. Take it right now. Oil of joy. Oil of gladness. Oil of gladness. Oil of gladness. Oil of joy. Oil of gladness. Fresh anointing. Take it. So come and bow down. So come. Take it. Oil of gladness. Holy ground. In the name of Jesus. Holy ground. Holy ground. Oil of gladness. Oh, let's rise up on our feet ground. and begin to appreciate him. So thank him, thank him, thank him. Down. Lord, we thank hey, you. Hey, we bless your hey. holy name. Oh, thank you, Jehovah. This is holy ground. We worship this you, Lord. This is holy ground. Oh, Father, we celebrate you, Lord. So Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. 
Have you been blessed today? We know today is the last Sunday of the month of November. And it is our Thanksgiving Sunday. Amen. So everyone that the Lord has visited in this month of November, whether God has added to your cars, whether he has added to your houses, you are dedicating your child, you are dedicating your marriage, whatever thing, maybe property, or any area of your life, or maybe you just want to thank God, that God, thank you because I am still alive. I want us to dance to the front right now with our thanksgiving seed in our hand to come and celebrate the Lord. To thank the Lord. That Lord, thank you for this month of November. For seeing me through. For all the blessings I have received. For all the breakthroughs I have received. For my marriage. Whatever area of your life. Or you want to thank God for one specific thing that you know the Lord has done in your life in this month of November. Worship Him. Give us a danceable song. Let us dance into the presence of God. Amen. As we celebrate the Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say. Amen. So there's no one God has done anything for in the month of November. There is nobody that the Lord, for the fact that the Lord even protected you in this month of November, is enough. Even if you don't have a seat in your hand, dance before the Lord. Dance. Come and show your appreciation. Come and show your thanksgiving before the Lord. Amen. The Lord that has kept you throughout this month of November he is more than capable to keep you in the month of December. What shall I do? Unto the Lord, all I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say? Yeah. Unto the Lord, all I have to say is oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. It seems we are tired of dancing. If God relies on you and I for praise, God would have been starved to death. That was why he made a plan already. He created the 24 elders and the angels to be praising him. Because if God relies on you and I, maybe God won't be existing by now. You would have been starved to death of praise. Because the way we are dancing, it seems as if we don't appreciate God. Let's dance for the last time. Worship team. Oh, what shall I say hey, hey. unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. For every one of you standing in the presence of the Lord. Hear this? This is very prophetic right now. Every one of you standing before the Lord right now. Zakosh le iparo satali baha. Zopake igaba shataba. The Lord said, I should tell you, He's giving you double honor. The Lord said, I should tell you, because you have come into His presence to show appreciation. The Lord said, I should tell you, you are receiving double. You are receiving double. You are receiving. Double! You are receiving double! You are receiving double! Okay, the Lord just said something. He said, no, double is too small. He said, give them triple. Take it, 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 take it. Your triple blessing. 
Maybe someone will have triplets. <laughs> Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every day of your life, you will never know sorrow. Every day of your life, you will never be downcast. Every day of your life, it shall be unspeakable joy. In the name of Jesus. Because you have appeared before the Lord to thank him. Next year, by this time, by this time next year, what you think you can never achieve in 20 years, whatever, please, this is very prophetic, whatever you think you cannot achieve in 20 years to this time, the Lord says by this time next year, it shall be delivered into your hands. It shall be delivered into your hands. It shall be delivered into your hands. Someone thinks I cannot be a millionaire. Where will I get the money from? But the Lord says, it took me six days to create the heaven and the earth. Therefore, for you to become a millionaire will not take God one second. Therefore, someone standing here, Lero Shaga Bahi Katolia, Zika Behi Raba Satayaba. Someone standing here, by this time next year, you will be counting your millions in the name of Jesus. Whatever area of your health is giving you challenge, that the doctor has told you this is incurable, that you can't even explain because you have appeared before the Lord to show thanksgiving, that thing disappears from now. It disappears from now. Every moving object in the body, whatever the enemy has fed you with in the dream, that is moving in your body, causing you discomfort. In the name of Jesus, I curse them right now. I curse them right now. I curse them right now. In the name of Jesus. For someone standing here, your failure is over. Your disappointment is over. Your disappointment is over. In the name of Jesus, as you step out of this place, the same way the ten lepers were cleansed as they were going, as you are returning home this morning, as you are going, whether in the taxi, whether you are walking, whether you are driving, the God of miracle will appear unto you. The God of miracle will appear unto you for your miracle, for your blessing, for your breakthrough, for your healing. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We have come to celebrate you this month of latter hand visitation. Therefore, Lord, we return all the glory unto you. And we thank you in advance for what you will do in the next month. Take all the glory, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please drop your thanksgiving seed and dance back to your seat as we close the service. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord.